Hi there, ho there, hippie how how. My name is Rick Feinberg. Welcome back to another WPW podcast. I'm here, unfortunately, with the guy who loves Team New Era so much. You are a dick. What is hippie hi how how? What are you saying? I'm saying hello to these wonderful fans. That's what I'm doing. Wonderful. About the fans. All right. It's all about the fans. It's why we're doing this. No. It's WPW podcast. This. We are here for you. What? What is your problem already? I just. I, I laugh at your ridiculous enthusiasm because it sounds so fake. You sound like such a fake faker. Like you, oh, a fake faker? You're like, you're like, oh, check out the Rising Dead. You're like, you know, I'm excited about this DVD. Stop. You're not that excited. This is an awesome DVD. Okay. I own these. Uh huh. No. I own every single copy. Talk, talk about how excited you are. Keep on going. Man. I am okay. This you is an awesome show. You're, this is, I, in my opinion, this is one of the best shows this is, WPW has ever this done. This is something I could never stand about you. Been what? That I'm, that I'm excited about the company that I work excited. for? No, you're acting like you're excited. I'm not you're acting. Good. I care about the fans because of WPW. Go, oh, who matters? Who matters? Because yeah. all you're excited well, about is you. Too. All you're excited about is you. You're not excited about this. When I'm in the ring. Right. What? What? To, at what point have I said who matters during this entire podcast? This is episode four now. I've never said it once. You keep bringing it up though. You Am I right it, or wrong? You've said it many times. I have not said it once. Yeah, you you say it constantly. You say it like in the ring. I do yes, dude. Because then it. that's when it's about me. Look, like when I first showed up here, you balled up a piece of trash and you threw it in the in the can. And as soon as it landed in the can, you went, "Who matters?" That is a bold face. No, lie. it is not. I saw you do it. Flower saw you do it. He'll tell you right now. Our cameraman. Yes. Tell First of all, I couldn't make a shot into the trash can. No, you didn't. See the skin? It is white. It's I'm white. not white. It's dirty. I'm not white now. It's pretty dirty. It's pretty dirty. As it's called a tan, sir, you should look into it. I'm a very tan individual. Can you say individual one more time? Individual? You said individual. Why don't you take an English class? Take an English class? Go to night school or something. You are what, unreal. What matches are we watching today, Rick? I've been trying to get to that because it's an awesome gonna, DVD. Well, I'm going to be all excited about watching these matches. Why don't you just tell them exactly what it is, and then we'll go cut to it. I was doing that, but all of a sudden, uh, Mr. Corey Castle has to make it all about himself. It's, so go ahead. You tell you tell the fans. You tell the fans okay. how, uh, how, how the, awful the show is. The because first you hate match it so much. that we're going to see. There's in a shot to him outside the ring. Just him outside the ring. Well, do your job, ref. How many times have these two wrestled in the, uh, the the most famous bingo hall in the world? You know how those fans are. You know how sadistic they are. Oh, absolutely. They want blood. Oh, yeah. And there's an absolute mean streak between the both of them. We'll see. Oh! oh there you go. That's what I'm talking Taking about right there. Taking advantage of a situation. That's what a, that's what a true professional does. Advantage of a situation, huh? That's, that's what cheating is known as these days. Look, the situation presented itself to him. Hey, Rebel with the Irish whip of the reversal from Niles Young. Rebel now ducks a call and comes off the shoulder tackle on Niles. Nice little drop kick by Rock and Rebel. Now, I'm not going to lie. Textbook. Lateral Textbook. press right in the center of the ring and only winds up with a two count. Didn't grapevine anything. Perhaps that's why. Regardless, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that a veteran like that would not hook a leg. Especially a young man with all the enthusiasm. Look at this. Going for a backslide. Caught the clothesline, only winds up with it. One count. Big clothesline. Big clothesline. Yeah, puts him right back down. Look at his rebel now. Yeah, he's going to call it the way that he sees it. He's going to do what he wants to do, and that's pretty obvious. Guy with the experience. Look at this. Backbreaker. Just drove him straight down. It's actually a side suplex is what it was. There you go. Keep, keep that air out of his chest. Don't let him breathe. Lateral press only winds up with the two count right in the center of the ring. It's Niles yeah. Young now firing back up, trying to get these fans behind him. If he keeps short counting, the Rebel's going to let this Rebel know exactly how he feels. And I'll tell you something. Rising tide. Ah! Oh, I've wow. been receiving into those chops. Those things no are nasty. Oh, man. That's twice and goes to Fireman off the Irish whip. Well, oh, look at that. Young goes hard into the turnbuckle, but cuts off the Rock and Rebel with the back elbow, and there's a kick. He's getting somewhere with it, mounting this offensive flow. Oh, that's a big power that's slam. What you're ta- that's what I'm talking about. By the Rock and Rebel. Look at that, though. Practically knocked the wind out of himself. A man is powerful for Rock and Rebel. He knows exactly what it's Lateral ah, press. Right in the center of the ring. Do you see how he had both the arms pinned there? 
Well, that's his opinion about a referee here currently. Look at this. From behind. Nice looking Yakuza kick. But now Jung goes going to cover one, two. It's going to take more than a, a simple. He came absolutely close to defeating the Rock and Rebel right there. As a man who holds a pin over the Rock and Rebel, it's going to take a lot more than just a Yakuza kick to pin the Rock and Rebel. Oh, oh Spinebuster. Man. Rebel now is he Rebel going for the Rebelizer. Nails him with a huge leg. And good night, this one is over. The winner of this match, Strong and Rebel. Strong for the Vets, baby. Rock and Rebel, the winner. Well, uh, Niles Young getting, uh, getting kind of pumped out. Rebel, Rock and Rebel making his, uh, some short work there of Niles Young. Have you, have you taken bets on that match? I am, you, no, I didn't. You had lost. I, I... I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was a pick -em. I thought it could have gone either way. And that's because you're a sucker. I'm a sucker. You're a sucker. Because, because both wrestlers were good? Either way, man. I, I don't, you know, I was impressed. So you were, you were, you were going into the match already expecting uh, Rock and Rebel to win? No. Nah. I, I, I wouldn't have bet the other way, is what I'm saying. And you probably would have. Because you're a Why? Because I'm a loser. We're we just saw Rock and Rebel versus Niles Young. We are now going to Hybrid versus Chase Helms, one of the best matches of the show, in my opinion. I'm giving it away for free. That's what we do. We care about the fans. Let's hit it. Let's go down to Will Strauss. Take it away.